Hi, I'm Brandi Romine, and I'm the Executive Director of Hope House OKC, and we are a nonprofit that serves mothers and children who are experiencing homelessness and provide them with safe housing and a team of support who will love them and encourage them and help them navigate life as they begin to put it back together. We have a program that runs two years long. We provide families with a fully furnished apartment and they begin their journey with us by taking life skills classes and learning new things and then they're paired with our amazing community partners where they are provided employment and education opportunities. The best way to learn about us is to go to our website. It is hopehouseokc.com and there um, on our first page, you'll see ways to get involved and you'll see ways to donate. The thing we love the most is when people reach out to us and we can go grab coffee and learn about your passion and your skill set and what you would like to, um, to bring to our Hope House family and see the personal ways that we can get people involved. Hope to me is believing that good things are possible. We get to meet these mothers right where they are at, as they are, and we get to give them a place to immediately call home and to belong, and we get to welcome them into our family. That is at the heart of what we do at Hope House, is we get to walk alongside these mothers and their kids, and we do get to see that moment of hope happen. When we see these mothers begin to smile and have joy, and when they are laughing with their kids and really beginning to believe for themselves that the dreams that they had when they were 16, 17, that those things are possible again. When we think about hope, we naturally want to think of these big grand stories that are all around us, but I think these simple everyday things, just like for this mother, she now has hope that that is possible for her and her son. The mothers we serve are some of the strongest women I've ever met, and they show up daily to do the hard work that it takes to turn their lives around. And it is not easy, and yet they choose to do it, not only for themselves, but mostly so that their kids can have a different future. And so they are the champions in the story, and we just get the honor and the privilege of cheering them on and encouraging them as they do the hard work. They deserve the wildest celebration in our community for making the brave choice that it takes to turn their lives around. I'm excited that the state of Oklahoma has chosen to celebrate hope in the month of January to kick off this year because I truly believe this is going to be a year that is marked and set apart where good things are elevated and where stories are completely rewritten. The story in our state moving from a place where people talk about negative statistics and entering this year where we see headlines of amazing things taking place. So we are prayerful that 2024 is going to be a year of hope.